guys so working on another Toyota so this one it's a uh, 7F DCU 30 and symptom on this is it's kind of hard starting and even if it does start it's kind of like rough so idle what I found when I was starting this truck and if it was running you can uh, smell the propane coming out of the exhaust so it's running really rich and what I did earlier is I have the uh, propane line for the injector which is uh, which one it would be injector is going to be right here so this line so this guy right here so this is the line going to the injector and what would happen is if it starts running rough I would pinch this and it would run smoother so that would be an indication that yeah okay we're running rich and we're putting in too much fuel so the issue now is is it the computer putting in more fuel or is it the injector that is faulty somehow stuck open or maybe the spring is weak or whatever and so I was thinking what could make the computer if it is the computer what could make the computer false injector in a longer time period right I was checking map sensor so here you can see it on the map sensor see this is the chart on the map sensor for this Toyota the standard is at 3.64 volts and that would be at atmospheric pressure at zero right so vacuum should increase increase at 20 inches of vacuum you should see at least more than one volt off of this right so right now this is the map sensor on this I'm hooked up to the middle wire which is the signal wire all right okay hooked up my oscilloscope channel 1 setting on this is the channel A 5 volts 1 second for division all right, let's see it running. Okay. Start and die. Oops. Okay. Let me just put down for a bit. Um, I think I need two hands to be able to, to be able to start this. Okay, now I'm able to start it. Of a vacuum gauge to it, and you can see it's reading 20 inches of mercury, roughly. Right, it's bouncing around a bit, but to pinch the holes a bit, make it more steady. Right. sensor right now is more than three volts and this is at idle so the reading is 3.286 that's almost at atmospheric now a map sensor the way the computer reads it is whenever you open up the throttle right you would lose vacuum let's see that here on the, the uh, vacuum gauge Steady, right? So zero's right. Okay, zero would be right here. And if you open up the throttle, it should go down to zero. Right. This one only goes down to five inches of mercury. But look at the response from my map sensor. So even if we just had it down to like five inches of mercury, which maybe is my freaking vacuum gauge. Yeah, it is my vacuum gauge. All right. Okay. But anyway, and because I'm not getting a reading from my map sensor, all right, I think it's a fairly good time to test it out by using your own social vacuum. So I have a vacuum gun, all right, hooked up to the hose to the map sensor and I'm still back probing the signal wire 
All right, so let's key the song. You don't have to start it. All right, not saying it's almost at almost four, three point something. All right, so basically 3.7 is what it says as far as atmospheric. All right, and let's see if this map sensor is going to respond. Okay, it's going down. Going down still. Try to pump it up at 20. Okay, vacuum gauge is at 20 inches of vacuum. And my reading is, let's see where it's at right now. 1.4. 20 inches of vacuum is 1.4. And if we look at the chart again, so sea level, uh, 1.4 be roughly here. Yeah, so we're right on target, or at least close to it. So there's nothing wrong with the map sensor. So question now is why are we losing vacuum as far as the map sensor goes like why is it not reading vacuum all right well that's what we're gonna have to find out oh, next 3.7 something close to atmospheric okay and look at how bad it's running again look at my reading again so what we're gonna do is this and for me to find out where exactly this right let me pinch this hose what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pinch this hose all right I'm gonna focus you on the reading look at it immediately immediately going down Vacuum at 20 inches, which is roughly 1.7 something, right? And I'm just pinching that hose. If I let it go, it starts running back. Right? So we're gonna focus on that next. Okay. Since it's hooked up to a vacuum, all right, directly to the manifold, and just tease up to the um, um, map sensor, right? So I'm thinking this would have a diaphragm in the inside operated by vacuum and then spring loaded, right? So if the diaphragm inside here is sealed up and it's working good, this has no tear, it should be able to hold a vacuum, right? And let's see. Uh-oh. Yes, we found our vacuum leak. Somehow, this guy's leaking. All right, that's for sure. This guy's leaking. Okay, I guess we found our vacuum leak.